Lesson 713 is called synthetic division. Synthetic to me, like my car takes synthetic oil. It's not fake, but it's kind of man-made. It's different. It's more refined. Um, synthetic division is another way to get answers to dividing a polynomial instead of doing a long division. And it's a really, really simple process. So what you do is you take this polynomial that's getting divided, that's your dividend, you take all the coefficients. Coefficients are the numbers in front. So 2, 14, 20, negative 11, positive 20. And I'm going to just write those here. 2, 14, 20, negative 11, 20. Then what I want you to do is make like a big L. I'm going to leave some space under the numbers and then go across like this. Then the number that goes outside of here is going to be the answer to this factor. So thinking of, okay, x plus 4 equals 0, subtract 4, so x is negative 4, right? Same thing we knew before is that the answer to this is actually the opposite sign. That's what we're dividing by. Okay, and so then what I do is I always bring down the first number to get started. Then from there I multiply 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Then I'm adding or subtracting the columns. 14 minus 8 is 6. Then I start over and I multiply. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. 20 minus 24 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 16 and negative 11 makes 5. 5 times negative 4 makes negative 20. And 20 minus 20 makes 0. The last number is always your remainder, so I put a little box there. So then you're thinking, well, how do I write my answer? Because this means like nothing. Right now it does, but what's going to happen is you're going to drop down a power. And so now, since this was x to the fourth, this is now 2x cubed. So this is your x cubed, and then it just goes down from there. So that would be positive 6x squared. That's a negative 4, so it would be minus 4x and plus 5 with no remainder. That's the answer. Okay, so another method to do using, um, to doing long division. So instead of long division, we're doing this. Can't talk. Um, but it doesn't work every time. It only works is if you have just a single x. So if this were like a 2x plus 4, it's not going to let you have a fraction out here. So that's why it has its limitations. All right, number two. Uh, we're dividing <coughs> x cubed minus x squared minus 12x minus 5 by x plus 2. So go ahead and take all the coefficients. You know, if you don't see a number, there's a 1. So that'd be a 1, negative 1, negative 12, negative 5. Draw your big L. The answer to this, x plus 2, is negative 2. Start by dropping down the first number. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Multiply. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. Negative 12, that's plus 6 because it's positive, is negative 6 times negative 2 is 12. That leaves me with a remainder of 7. So how do I write that answer? Well, I still drop down a power. So now instead of x cubed, this is my x squared minus 3x minus 6. And then this is a positive 7, so plus 7. What did I divide by? x plus 2. So the answers look just like we were getting with long division. And the last one, you still have to fill in any placeholders with a 0. So see, I have x cubed, x squared, x. I need a constant, so I'll have to have a plus 0 there. So this will go 3, negative 6, negative 4, x, and then my 0 for my constant. This is x minus 1, so I'm actually dividing by positive 1, because think you're setting it equal to 0 and solving what x is, and then you do your thing. So, so drop down to 3 times 1 is 3, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3 times 1, negative 3, that's negative 7 times 1, negative 7, 0 minus 7 is negative 7. So it does have a remainder. Final answer would be 3x squared minus 3x minus 7. And you could put plus a negative or just minus 7 over uh, x minus 1. And that's it.